Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Powers. Another episode of iPad 365 is on your way. We're gonna be talking about drawing on your iPad and actually using brushes too. Today is productivity day and we have something for all you artists out there. The program we're talking about is called Sketchbook Pro and it's by a company called Autodesk. Now this is a series of programs that they have including AutoCAD WS, Pixlr Omatic and Fluid FX, which you can all find on Apple iPad Store. And basically, it helps you express your creative side. Now, you can create cartoons, make murals, paint portraits, and do a lot more with this great software. With many different brush shapes, you can show your inner artists in you. Now, you can create a picture, you can then save it to the iPad or put it up in the iCloud, share it with your friends. Could you imagine if Leo from Titanic had that application when he painted Kate Winslet on the couch with the, the heart diamond thing? Then again, if he had the app, then the Titanic would have a Wi-Fi system set up. And he wouldn't have to be able to worry about that because then they would have signaled out instead of SOS. We wouldn't have had the SOS system. We would just had Wi-Fi and, and then the helicopters and speedboats would get out there faster. But... At any rate, that didn't happen, and of course, you know, Leo had to use paper and pencil, but you don't have to use paper and pencil. You can use a program like Sketchbook Pro. That would have also meant that James Cameron's movie would have been a little bit shorter and not much of a climactic ending. Anyway, Sketchbook Pro is $4.99 in the App Store, $4.99 in the App Store. Now, if you're a painter, if you're, if you're using pencil, you, this really doesn't work too well. They do have some styluses if you want to use a pencil, but if you're a painter and you want to feel like you're using a brush, you might want to look at the Nomad Brush Stylus. It's the first and only capacitive brush stylus on the market for touchscreen devices. You can create smooth flowing brush strokes with no resistance. The brush has a walnut and carbon handle, and the brush tip is a blend of natural and synthetic fibers. Best part is this brush will never scratch your screen. And that's today's show. Uh, what do you think? Do you, do you use the application? Let me know. Send me your pictures of what you've drawn. If you've done any video of you painting on the uh, Sketchbook Pro, let me know. We've got the Friday viewer request show. Of course, we're going to probably do an app because I, I probably won't get an email by then. But if I do, I'll record a show. I, I'm good that way. What applications do you use the most? Let me know so I can put them onto the show so I, we can let other people know what applications are out there and what are good applications out there because there's thousands upon thousands upon millions of applications you can get in different areas. So, you can Twitter me at iPad365, email me at iPad365show at gmail.com or you can always go to geekazine.com forward slash iPad365 to get show notes and get uh, subscribe to iTunes, subscribe your, R hook up the RSS feed, everything else so much more that you can do over at geekazine.com forward slash iPad365. That's the show and that's the productivity app tomorrow. Once again, it's a viewer choice. I got an app in line if we don't have any emails, but if we do have an email, I'm gonna stop those presses and get you an iPad application, answer some viewer mail or do whatever needs to be done. That's the episode for today. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on another episode of iPad 365. Remember, this episode number is on this side, and the iPad 3 Watch episode, uh, Days Tell Possible, is on this side. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.